Hi there. Today, I'm taking you 2,000 years back in time. At that time, there was a man called Paul, who was a great example for me. We saw in the previous episode that Paul met Jesus on his way to Damascus and that he chose a whole new direction in his life. Three years later, Paul felt that he had to return to Jerusalem, even though he knew it would bring him great danger. Hey, are you the one called Paul? Yes, that that's me. Perfect. Oh, don't mind these people. I'm Barnabas, and I know you quit persecuting us Christians here in Jerusalem. Come with me. I'd like you to meet Peter. I can imagine Paul and Peter had very interesting things to talk about. Finally, they could talk about Jesus, who had saved both of them. This is incredible! I have to tell everybody! I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet, not I, but Christ lives in me. Paul, is that you? What happened to you? You helped us persecute the Christians, and now you become a Christian yourself? You got it all wrong. Jesus is the Messiah, God's own son. The life I lived before was just a lie. You traitor. You betrayed the Jewish faith. Get out of my sight or we'll kill you. No way. I am speaking the truth. But Paul, they are being serious. You need to get out of Jerusalem. Ah, uh, all right. After only 15 days in Jerusalem, Paul had to flee for his life. He then returned to his home in Tarsus. He stayed there for many years, before his friend Barnabas suddenly showed up at his doorstep. Hi Paul, <laughs> it's been a long time. It's you Barnabas, after all these years, what brings you all the way to Tarsus? I've come to pick you up. We have a whole new church in Antioch, and we need faithful people like you who can show the way for the newly converted. Will you come with me? Barnabas, I'm so happy you asked because Jesus has taught me so much about his life, completely opposite of what I knew before. Exactly. Don't worry that you were a Pharisee or that you persecuted the Christians. It's Jesus himself who has called you because he wants to use you. Yes, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And I'm the biggest sinner of all. But this is why I was shown mercy 
so I can be an example for those who are going to believe in Him for eternal life. So come with me. The message of Jesus must be spread out into the world. Yes, let's meet the Church of Antioch. Antioch was the first city where Paul worked with the Christians. Later, he traveled on to many other places. Because Jesus could create something completely new in him, Paul was able to help so many people. No matter what their lives had been like before, Jesus could forgive and deliver them from the sin they had lived in so that they could become disciples. Paul felt like the biggest sinner of all but was shown mercy by God. The only thing he cared about now was to do the task that Jesus had given him. In the exact same way, Jesus can forgive us for the bad things that we have done so that we can start a whole new life as his disciples. So, thanks for following along with this story. We'll see each other again in another episode of Bible Heroes of Faith. See ya!